Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and as well Capricorn uh, Rising. Weekly Tarot reading October 7th to October 13th, 2019. And bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the Tarot cards. <clears throat> and uh, we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week Capricorn is going to be the King of Swords, followed by the next one here which represents the challenges that you need to overcome, that is going to be the Four of Cups. Afterwards, it is the third card which stands for the positive aspect of your week here, that is going to be the uh, Temperance card. And then the last one, uh, which represents the uh, guidance that Tarot is offering to you guys, that is going to be the Ace of Pentacles. Splendid. So before we go into the cards and pick them up one by one, let's run them one more time. Um, Knights of so a uh, King of Swords, excuse me, is going to be the general topic and the theme of your week, followed by uh, the uh, Four of Cups, which stands for the um, uh, challenges that you need to overcome. Afterwards, it is the temperance, which represents the positive aspect of your week. And then the last one here, that it is the guidance of the Ace of Pentacles. All right. So King of Swords uh, is going to be catalyzed by the Ace of Cups. Active neutrals, it is what we do have here. So these two cards are expressing a, a person who is well respected and very, I would say, talented and professional as well. Now that is a person who is very smart. It has sharp intellect. It has, actually, it has a, a very agile intellect. Additionally to that is very analytical and is very, very effective. Now you can see here by the Ace of Cups as a, a neutral cut to, to it, he, can have feelings, but he does not allow those feelings to um, to dictate his actions. Additionally to that, this is someone who does not believe that one needs a chance. And what I mean is that one needs, wow, it's, it's on, on English, it's chance. It's like chance from, from fate, all right? something to happen by a chance. But that person believes that everything is connected, everything is a big machine that has a mechanism that ticks in. And he is willing to sacrifice everything and everyone for that machine to keep on ticking in. Th uh, ticking, yeah, in. So, uh, nonetheless, while he does not believe he, I'm saying he because it's a king, but it could be as well a woman here, 
wow, that person does not believe that there are coincidences and there are uh, that there is luck by general in this world. Luck is exactly what is going to bring this person into your life. What kind of a role he's going to play into your life? Well, you and that person are going to put a careful analysis upon your situations and together you are going to find a way out of your difficulties. That's great. And of course, if you don't bruise him or kind of like if you don't oppress him with emotions, maybe he may as well divulge some sort of an emotion that he may have toward you. Once again, he does not allow the emotions to dictate his, um, his actions. In other words, um, if he may be loving you to the death, but if you does not serve his purpose, He's going to cut you loose. Okay. So if you want to be with such a person, uh, romantically, I mean, make sure that you do serve a purpose in his life. Uh, the, the challenge here, it is the four of cups and it's going to be catalyzed by the six of swords. We do have an, another, a passive neutrals here. So the challenge is quite big. I mean, uh, there is a, a good fortune on your doorsteps. It is just you are either not realizing that or you are looking in a different direction. You are not seizing it. Okay. And while constantly trying to think and overthink the situation, a real actions needs to be made. In another word, you need to as well show strong intellectual abilities and mental clarity and strength with in regards to the king of swords additionally to that because these cards fall in such a combination it's not going to be as difficult as you think it is what i mean is that the whole situation and and the steps you need to do the actions you need to perform may look like more impactful negatively impactful and more difficult than they actually are so um that is, in general, the, uh, the challenge here. It is that you may be uh, sitting on a doorstep or rather like on a threshold in this particular situation with the King of Swords, which begs you to do something that will serve both of you a great favor. And you may be, you know, kind of like petrified by fear. But if you show strong mental, uh, if you show big mental strength and strong intellectual abilities, you are to realize that there is nothing for you to be afraid of. I mean, it's, it's, you lose literally nothing. Only thing you have there is to gain something from the, from the King of uh, Swords. The very least, they are very, very uh, strong and influential ally for your future endeavors. So after that we are going to the positive aspect of your week capricorn and the card it is the temperance here catalyzed by the nine of swords so we do have an, an active friends at that point and it looks like that you will going to uh, spend or that week itself apart from the challenge it will be quite balanced and for what it seems you will just gonna be able to find the right measure to tackle with your daily routine additionally to that it does look like that uh, you are gonna face understanding and as well it's uh, like a respect from those who are around you, or rather like those who are around you are going to respect your opinion and your position as well. Quite a lot of solidarity and compassion, it is what you are going to face throughout the week, and that will strengthen your inner spirit. But uh, why you are going to find uh, balance and solace in throughout this week, it is because you are going to obtain a full understanding upon the consequences of your actions, especially that regards to the endeavor with the Knight of, uh, with the King of Swords, and what comes out of it. And additionally to that, you are going to stand against your fears as well. I mean, you are not gonna uh, try to run away anymore. No more running, guys. I mean, stand in front of them because this time around, you do have a big support and intellectual power intellectual alliance here with the king of swords and once again together uh, you are going to find a way from your difficulties um, now that i think of that could be your uh, solicitor you know that could be your lawyer it could be your medical doctor 
could be your business advisor. That is your person who very well knows what needs to be done. It's very smart, clever, and whatever he asks you to do is going to be very, very effective. No question about it. And uh, the last card, it is about the guidance the Tarot is op uh, offering to you, quite quite related to the challenges. It's another card pointing here that there that is an, an awesome opportunity for you. But let me see what it is um, catalyzed with. Uh, that will be the Page of Wands uh, formation. It is a, a passive neutrals here and it it does point to an, an opportunity, but additionally to that, it is in an opportunity that cannot push on your own, okay? You, can't, you are not as strong as you think you are on your own, or you do miss something very important that the knight, that the king of uh, swords does have. So uh, instead of trying to, um, how can I place, instead of acting um, based on your pride, okay? Instead of acting based on your uh, let's say exaggerated self-confidence because there are such people who although they see that they cannot do it on their own they are still too too proud and too confident to ask for help instead of that just you know enjoy the um balanced and harmoniously flowing relationship that you can have with the king of swords you know that will help you to establish relationships it will help you to be successful into your business depending on what you are after here right and together through uh through the cooperation with him um there will you are to face a lot of content and quite of happiness into your life and the thing is that you're not going to feel even smothered beneath so you're not going to feel oppressed you're not going to feel that you know someone dictates your rules because whatever um whatever argument the king of swords it kind of placing in front of you he is also going to uh, display a logical explanation and logical support of intentions behind the arguments. So, so you are going to kind of see the truth behind the words and it's not going to feel like you are forced to do something because at the end of the day, it will be the only logical thing that makes sense and that is going to be effective. So that being said, Capricorns, uh, this was your a weekly tarot reading. <clears throat> October 13, 13 uh, October 7th to October 13th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.